Could you ride a bike for 20 miles to try to escape a computer that was trying to kill you? One, no. Two, why are you looking at me like that? Three, this is reality check. This is a competition talk show where your hosts get to compete in challenges just like the reality show stars we love to watch. I'm Amanda. And I'm Trevor. And we still don't know what we're competing for, but that's life. Are we really competing for anything? Is there a prize? You get to be on a camera with me. That's a big prize. That's that's the biggest prize I get, huh? <laughs> Let's talk about how many exciting shows Fox has on air right now and also on Hulu! Gordon Ramsay's Food Star stars on Mars, Special Forces World's Toughest Test, The Masked Singer, Beat Shazam, and, and... don't forget the lyrics! Uh, my ears are burning. What happened on the last episode of Stars on Mars? I'm the base commander. Andy is chosen as the base commander. Adam is his mission specialist. Then the Hab AI starts going crazy, tells everybody they're gonna die. You are all going to die. Everybody? In one hour, the AI will open the exterior airlock doors, exposing Andy and Adam to the deadly Mars atmosphere. Then the stars have to reset the AI software, and there are only three ways to do that. Number one being... Rhonda and Marshawn have to ride an exercise bike for 20 miles. Easy, I do that every morning. Number two, Kat and Paul have to get switches located inside the panel boxes that would reboot the system, and they only have one screwdriver. Sounds like they're screwed. Number three, Tinashe, Portia, and Ariel play a musical light game with a keyboard. The mission was a success. Spoiler alert. Rhonda goes home, but it's because she wants she to. She wants to. Honestly, I would too. I'd probably just cry and go home. It's time for the $1 challenge. So the stars earned an intelligence badge after they defeated the evil Hab AI. So our $1 challenge will also pit you against AI while testing your intelligence. Perfect. Yeah, Good. so I'm I have smart. asked to AI to tell me five riddles. Oh. If I like your answer better than the AI's answer, you win a point. Good. Good. Riddle yeah. me timbers. And you have your Did you just call me a No. That was on camera. No, it was, no, it. Wow. It was part of the riddle. The, that, no. It's the classic riddle. Riddle, riddle me like timbers. A, that's that's an not an how that You know, the goes. classic childhood tale. That's not what children say. What have I been reading? <laughs> the Migos ad libs. <laughs> Are we ready for this? Woo, ready. that one got me. Can I start like this? No. Oh. Why would you think that I would allow that? Totally. That's not how, you know how I am. You run a tight ship. Stop calling me. No, it's a saying. That's not a saying. I would never call you that. That's a point to Trevor. Thank you. Riddle number one. What has a heart that doesn't beat? Amanda McCants. That was my answer too. So the AI answer was a deck of cards. Boring, falling asleep. I'm gonna go with the AI answer because you both just always say Amanda McCants. Like yeah. that's always Well, everyone's your talking about her. Riddle two. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Emotions. Look at my little hands. Scissors. The more hands. Walking. The more you take, steps. Hey, steps. Steps. Steps, step sister. I, Foot well, that's a different website. Footsteps. <laughs> I said Footsteps. Step. Step. You said it. Said I'm steps. gonna go, Trevor. Riddle three. I can be cracked, made, told, and played. What am I? Scramble eggs. No. Thank oh, you oh. Said. Corn tortilla. A corn tortilla can be. A joke. Crack a joke. Nice. I got it. Trevor got it. Yeah. Tra Mr. Jokes. Mr. Thank jo you, don't thank hold on to me that long ever. I'll, I'll sue you. <laughs> I'll sue your. <laughs> Riddle number four. I am always hungry. I must always be fed. The finger I touch will soon turn red. What am I? O oh, positive blood. That's not terrible. Fire. Yes. This game <laughs> is my worst nightmare. Our final riddle. Final riddle. I'm gonna make this worth four points. This okay. This seems oddly so you can, Okay. You can definitely win it. Oh yeah. What has a face that doesn't frown? A tail Botox. that doesn't <laughs> wag and a body that doesn't move. Uh, ocean. No. I, uh, it literally has like, to be. No, it doesn't. Think of a face, you might also say heads. And then you have oh, a I'm tail sorry. that doesn't Oh, I'm sorry, did you mean a penny? I did mean a coin. <laughs> Amanda, what? what? <laughs> she didn't hit oh, the buzzer. Oh, I'm sorry. A coin. A coin. She didn't no, I did, I did. I hit it with a coin. Well, I literally had like 17 points ahead of her, so go ahead. Let them know Hollywood skewed. Go ahead, for the points. Yeah, 
I have to give it to Trevor. I have to do it. Literally right. have to. Thank you. Thank. You don't even want a one dollar bill. This is you do you this as a You did call me a like seven times today. So. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about Lego Masters. Let's do it. Season four comes out in the fall. And if you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely get on it. It's a very exciting show. It's hosted by the hilarious Will Arnett. So two teams will compete against each other to complete extremely elaborate Lego projects based on the theme they're given. I mean, last season was wild. They had to build a literal race car that had to draw it. They also had to build a majestic pirate ship that got blown up. Pretty disrespectful. They build it and then blow up. That's what I do with all of my relationships. Build it and blow build up. Build it up, blow it up. Were you a Lego person growing up? Totally. I mean, if there was one girl that screamed Legos, it was me. Building, building, building. That's her slogan. <laughs> How'd you know that? <laughs> oh! Whoa! <laughs> For today's challenge, you'll be walking us through your bracket of contestants from some of the shows we've discussed in order to crown the ultimate reality check star. Me. So whoever does a better job defending the winner of your bracket wins. I'm really good at defending my brackets. We're going Marshawn Lynch. He's the best, he's the funniest. We got Lan and Caroline. I'm gonna move Lan to the next because I really, I think she takes charge while still being kind. Next up, we got Portia versus Rhonda. I am frail and I need somebody to protect me and Rhonda can fight people. William Shatner and Gordon Ramsay, this is a tough one, but Shaddy Daddy is, you know, it's a run and bid here at Reality Check, so. And what do we love? Me. Bitch! Not Trevor. Oh wow, we got Dick Van Dyke and David Archuleta. Dick Van Dyke is a legend, but I'm going David Archuleta because I feel like me and him could like be at a club together. Mel B and Dwight. I respect a girly pop, and so I've got to move Mel B to the front. I have Kenya Moore and Hannah Brown. I'm gonna go with Hannah Brown because it kind of reminds me of hash browns, and I am hungry. And she was on Bachelorette. We can make a good couple together. Niecy Nash and Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon's busy, and Nick Cannon's with? fertile. And oh. Niecy Nash is just a girly pop on the town. I'm not ready for children yet. I still want a few more summers in Ibiza. Marshawn Lynch. He's got the best personality. He's so funny. He's so buff. Who's gonna tell him no? I'm gonna choose Shaddy Daddy. Obviously it's a bit here and we stick to the bit. Now we have David versus Hannah Brown. Whoa! -oh. She won World's Toughest Test so she can put up with endurance. And I'm a lot to deal with so she can put up with me. World's Toughest Test, Special Forces, me. Could I do a little dance and song with Mel B all the way to uh, the finish line? Absolutely, I could. But I love Niecy Nash's personality. I think she's really funny. She's a good time gal. And what do I love? A good time gal. Amanda, you're probably my favorite person on the show. Thank you so much. Alongside Marshawn Lynch, my winner. He's the funniest guy to ever He's do so reality. He's so fun. But oh, I'm gonna go honorable mention, Hannah Brown. I don't know if you're single, but hit me up. Okay. Is that how this works? Shaddy Daddy, Niecy Nashy. I like a man at the top. I like a go-getter, because we're gonna go run. <clears throat> and we're gonna go get it. So my ultimate reality check star is, and nobody saw it coming, Shaddy Daddy. That was a very exciting game. Was I it? Really, yeah, I thought so. I won. Excuse me, what are you doing? What are you doing? You should have been out already. You're on camera, we can't have you on camera. Where do you want this? Good <laughs> anyway. Get off. We're just gonna adjust the fact that that's my father. Nobody's that's gonna bring dad? that up. That's my dad. Wait, that's He's dad. my worst assistant. When did he get out of prison? We hired him about two months ago, so probably. Did you know? Probably about out. two months. Oh, I did not know. I've been writing pen pals to nobody, apparently. He's very bad. What's he in prison for? Fraud. Classic. Classic. You chose Marshawn Lynch as the ultimate reality check star, and you chose Shaggy Daddy. Daddy. Winner is. No, the winner is. Let me say Trevor. It. Oh, that is. Oh, oh! What's up? What's up? I'm on fire. Oh, you guys today. must hate women. Funny women. Amanda, huh? You're you, intimidated by you me, aren't you? Me like eight yeah. times today. Yeah. Can't do that. Yeah. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Today I learned so much about you, about me, about Legos. I learned that they're more than just things you step on and yell really loud cuss words. There's something you can build a car out of. Lego Masters season four out this fall. Today I learned how mad I could get in public. Tune in next week to see if it happens again. Spoiler alert, it, it will. Does.
It does. We were it so will. close. We'll get the hang of it. Like, share, and subscribe. See you next Saturday. Reality check. Check yourself in the therapy. Me, I will do that. That was probably the best one yet. Yeah.